Hey everybody, how's it going? So it's been a while, about six months actually since I made any videos. I uh, had some technical problems and uh, some other issues that uh, kind of hung me up for a while. And uh, when summer came along and you know with the daughter home from school, um, things just took a while to resolve. But I finally kind of got things back, uh, back the way I want them, or at least in better shape where I'm ready to kind of get back into making videos. Um, I'm a little rusty, uh, a little out of shape as far as uh, getting my thoughts together to make videos, so uh, hopefully I can kind of get back in the swing of things fairly quickly. Uh, so what happened? Um, yeah, about six months ago, I just exchanged some VCLT with a friend here in town, Wes, uh, Super Wes on YouTube. And uh, I was getting ready to make a video uh, showing... Um, what kind of cool stuff he given me, including a nice piece of equipment, and I'll try to make that one of my first videos. Um, but at the same time, I just bought a, a used turntable. It was a USB turntable, um, which I bought uh, specifically to play back uh, 78 RPM records. It had the ability to play at 78. Um, and so I figured that would be an easy way to play back some of my old shellac uh, jazz records. And I plugged it into my computer, and it loaded a driver. Just a simple uh, sound input device, and uh, lo and behold, it started to compete with my my digital digital to analog converter, my DAC, going from my computer to my receiver, and knocked out my my sound output to my receiver. Um, so that was problem number one. Problem number two: uh, all of a sudden, I start to get the blue screen of death on my computer. Um, or actually, I got it once, but uh, from experience, I've known that. Uh, once you see that once, it tends to show up again, or things just go downhill quickly. A hard drive fails, and uh, everything just goes to shit. And I started to panic, because I had a lot of music um, and videos and things on my computer that I downloaded or saved, and I hadn't really backed up to, uh, to anywhere else. And um, so I thought, okay, I'll, I start, better start backing this up to one of my, I've got a couple of external hard drives, big ones, uh, four terabyte external drives and uh, about the same time my cat decides to knock one of these uh, hard drives off my desk while I'm writing files to it um, so I yanked out the power cord and it bounced on the ground and uh, sure enough uh, the hard drive kind of went to crap uh, fairly quickly um, started having problems with uh, accessing a few files and then all of a sudden getting um, getting it to respond. It would show up on my computer, but I couldn't quite do much with it, and then things just kept going downhill. The more I tried to fix it, the worse it got, to the point where now it won't even show up when I plug it in my computer. It won't even show up as a, a storage device. Um, so it's kind of in a coma state, and I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it, but it's got about three terabytes worth of music and videos and things like that backed up on it and uh, it's just kind of a sad thing. Um, so that was more depressing than anything but the other issues as far as uh, my sound driver <clears throat> that was a real problem. I couldn't couldn't edit videos, couldn't listen to music um, through my computer, couldn't watch other people's videos and um, beyond the technical issues there was a bigger problem which is the fact that I just had too many goddamn records this whole uh, whole room here was just overflowing with records um, as you can see things are a little different in the background here um, I used to have some bookshelves full of records and they just really weren't adequate uh, storage space I had boxes of records all over the floor here um, I've been picking up records quicker a lot quicker than I've been going through them and kinda making deciding you know what makes it cut what goes what stays and it was just getting out of control to the point where I could barely even come and sit in a chair here at my computer I couldn't move my feet couldn't turn around I just had a little tight narrow space where I could get to the computer if I had to and uh, so it didn't take too long to fix the technical issues on the computer I had to do like a registry fix and it, uh, it knocked back got things back going with my original uh, DAC uh, sound driver and decided just not to plug that turntable into this computer again. Um, and uh, the blue screen of death hasn't reappeared. Um, I've backed up a lot of my music and things, uh, videos and things like that, personal things, to, uh, to uh, you know, writable DVDs, things like that, just to be a little on the safe side. But I haven't seen a return of the blue screen of death, which is really weird. But uh, I shouldn't complain. Um, yeah, but the big thing is I took some time over the summer kind of planning and finally executing right towards the end of the summer. It took me a long time, but made a trip to uh, Ikea in Jacksonville and bought this big 
25 uh, cube 5x5 five five, um, shelf system you see behind me and above it is a uh, 5 cube 1x5 um, uh, shelf from Walmart. It's the Better Homes and Gardens kind of knockoff of the, the IKEA. Not as nicely built but um, I don't think IKEA makes just like a 1x5 a 5 cube. Uh, they have like a 1x4 4, 4 cube shelf. So I wanted to expand the uh, the 25 cubes so I put the, the 5 up there you can see and then down the side here I've got another um, 5 cube shelf on its side so I've got basically uh, 35 cubes worth of record storage now and uh, unfortunately I still have boxes of records on the floor I've got so many um, but it helped um, it definitely helped to get uh, free things up a little on the floor here and I'm hoping now that things are a little less chaotic and just ridiculous and out of control, I can start to work my way through a bunch of records and uh, and then the herd. Um, part of the problem is uh, I buy a lot of my records at thrift stores and I don't want to listen to them, don't want to put them on the turntable off time cleaned them because thrift store records tend to be just nasty and I don't want to tear up my, my stylus. So I got to clean them and I got to listen, decide whether I want to keep it. Um, and uh, Part of the problem is too, I, I kind of want to keep things in the order they're in, like I bought a bunch of records at uh, Friends of the Library sale here in town about six months ago and I uh, kind of wanted to show them in a video before I started to go through them and listen to them and maybe get rid of some stuff I'm not crazy about. Um, so I'm trying to get back into like a regular process of how I you know clean records, listen to them, just to get rid of a few, trade them in, redonate, things like that. So yeah, that's... Uh, you know, had a lot of success finding cool records at thrift stores, but it's also kind of a curse because it just, you know, it builds up to the point where it's just too many. And uh, things are kind of changing. Uh, my daughter now is going to a school. She just started high school. She's in a school on the other side of town from where I used to take her. It used to be I'd drive by about three or four thrift stores on my way. I'd drop her off in the morning and kill about an hour, and I, I could be able to hit all, a whole bunch of thrift stores on that side of town on my way home. And I get in them again on my way back to pick her up. Um, now she's on the other side of town where there's really no thrift stores. So in a way it's bad. It's kind of going to limit how much time I spend at the thrift stores. But in a way it's good because it's going to... I'll be able to kind of focus more on, on cleaning records, listening to records, um, dealing with the mess I have here. Um, Lisa G, uh, Groovy Lisa here on uh, YouTube, uh, Vinyl Community. She had some really good videos, um, one a while ago and one just recently that kind of addressed this problem. I think a lot of people who collect records hit it where you hit a point where you kind of, you wonder like, well, how many records is enough? I mean, do I need thousands of records? And you hit a point where you outgrow your storage, uh, storage uh, capacity, you know, and you just think, is, am I going insane? Am I, why am I buying all these records? And especially if you're someone like me who likes, who enjoys digging and finding stuff as much as you do listening to them, you're kind of getting them quicker than you can listen to, and you start to wonder what's the point if I'm not listening to them, if I'm spending all my free time out there digging and finding them. So it's kind of a, is it a mental sickness? I don't know. So I'm going to try to change gears, do more, spend more time cleaning, organizing, listening, thinning the herd, and uh, focusing on that. So, uh, yeah, I want to get back into making videos. Um, I've been wanting to kind of change out the camera situation here. I've got an old uh, Sony HD uh, video cam, and I've been thinking about using my phone, but the problem is the phone, because it sits so far back, you know, it looks like I'm way back here. Um, I'll try to find a better way. It, it shoots better video, obviously, than this piece of junk, but this is okay. Um, so what I've been doing, uh, obviously reorganization, uh, setting up these shelves, kind of, I reorganized my closet. I used to have some multimedia shelves in there full of CDs, which I thought was cool. I could kind of open a closet and read the spines and pick out the CDs I wanted, but it was very inefficient. So I've got a different shelving system in the closet, and I'll try to show that in a future video when I talk about CDs. Um, it's more space efficient, but it's, it's not quite as visually appealing. But uh, I'll talk about that in the future. Um, still been hitting the thrift shops, uh, although things have kind of slowed down recently. Students are back in town, and that's definitely uh, 
definitely making it difficult you go into one of these thrift shops on the weekend or in the afternoon it's just full of people I mean hardly a parking spot open it's kind of annoying uh, but I did have a lot of fun over the past six months kind of having the pick of the litter and had some really good uh, CD hauls especially a lot of uh, big uh, CD not a lot but um, some really good uh, CD uh, collections being donated and uh, hit them up pretty hard probably picked up about 120 uh, CDs over the past six months or so and uh, definitely want to show those off um, did a little traveling went to uh, to um, New Orleans and hit up uh, managed to hit one record store there I wanted to hit a few more but just managed to hit one and went to Rhode Island and sort of traveled around New England and uh, while I was in Boston I hit a store called uh, Newberry uh, Newberry Comics they also sell um, records special colored vinyl exclusive release type things I wanted to hit that store managed to get to it uh, it's a little tricky uh, with the family daughter getting older um, dragging the wife and daughter around to record stores they're not really into it but managed to slip away for a few minutes uh, for an hour or so in each trip and got a few records so I'll be showing those um, uh, definitely want to do a video of what I found at the uh, Friends of the Library sale back in uh, spring um, just about the time that I had these problems and quit making videos uh, picked up a bunch of records um, I know Wes showed what he found um, I found some cool stuff um, missed the first two days of the sale I had to work over the weekend it starts Saturday and then Sunday um, so I didn't get first pick and a lot of stuff but still was pretty happy with what I brought home so and uh, the next sale is actually coming up in October in just about a month so I want to try to get the spring sale uh, video done before uh, the fall sale comes along um, what else um, I want to try to get around finally to uh, to making a video about how to clean records um, I have a I bought a new record cleaning machine uh, probably about six months ago um, I've been kind of breaking that in and working with it and I'm happy with it uh, it's not an expensive machine but I kind of want to talk about the process of how I clean records and some of the things I do differently than what I've seen other people do online and sort of my philosophy about what works and what doesn't um, you know some of the the things that people believe in I think are just nonsense and challenge some of the things that are uh, seem to be uh, common practice in cleaning records and throw in a few things that I think other people that other people don't do that I do and kind of explain why I do it that way uh, it's gonna be a bit of a challenge because I've always had trouble trying to find a uh, video setup where I can have a camera um, looking down upon the uh, the record cleaning machine in my hands having my hands free while I clean records and explaining what I'm doing and all that um, so we'll see if I can put that together and uh, gonna talk a little bit about um, I've been trading in trading in records lately um, it all started I saw some records I wanted at the record store and didn't have a lot of uh, you know free cash I've always got money but I don't want to spend like I don't know I try to uh, try to prioritize my money and try to just you know take a little cash each week and build it up and use that for my record money so I decided to take um, take some records in some stuff I knew that was valuable from thrift stores I didn't really need my permanent collection trade them in and I've really gotten into uh, haven't done it so much the past few weeks but the past month or so but I've been trading in records a little bit at a time things either from my collection or things I found in a thrift store that I know are valuable clean them up take them into the record store and uh, trade them in get store credit I've gotten really good store credit I've been very happy and uh, just trading them in for things that I enjoy more for my collection maybe not as valuable but um, it works out good for me um, things I want to listen to actually not just things to show off in my collection and it works out good I think for the record store they have some cool stuff that other people are looking for and then they can find in the record store things they've been looking for so I think it's a pretty good situation I'm pretty happy with it um, but having a lot of fun with that trading it in and uh, you know records even CDs things like that and uh, another thing I've been trying to kind of toying with it comes from uh, the BCLT that Wes gave me he gave me a piece of equipment I've been trying to build a, uh, a surround system um, for my living room I've got a uh, found a uh, Bowers and Wilkins uh, center channel speaker nice center channel speaker and I've got a couple of Bowers and Wilkins uh, speakers here in my my room that I've been contemplating moving out to the living room and kind of setting up a nice uh, stereo out there 
Um, although I don't think the wife will go for that. And uh, the way things have been going, um, I've been buying different cables and stuff, but a, a fiber optic cable and uh, for the digital audio and it's just not quite working uh, the subwoofer I've got a couple of subwoofers nice ones I found and they're not, they're not quite working the way I want them to and just kind of the whole difficulty of setting up rear channel speakers I'm about to give up on it but um, it's something I've been toying with um, so yeah just a lot of different stuff going on and I just kind of wanted to get back into making videos and talking about some of these things and sharing and um, also getting back into watching other people's videos I've been watching Wes's videos and uh, Chris over at Dixieland Farm um, although I just I haven't been spending as much time at my computer and I don't really watch videos on my phone that much I just something about that just I don't know I don't do too often I like to watch them at my computer and uh, when I had the sound issue I kind of had quit given up on that because I couldn't didn't have any sound um, yeah so I just I'm trying to get back into that trying to get back into making videos and you know becoming an active member of the actual vinyl community uh, YouTube community here so yeah I just wanted to do a quick update uh, you know I've been rambling on quite a bit um, like I said I'm a little rusty um, a little out of shape so to say as far as making videos and getting my thoughts back together I've actually got a cheat sheet up above the uh, the camera here with some issues I want to talk about, but um, yeah, I'll try to get uh, concise as I show uh, some of the things I've bought recently. Cut out some of the things that you know nobody really cares about. Um, yeah, so uh, looking forward to making videos. Um, I want to thank. Uh, look, I've seen they pop up on my phone. I see I've got some new subscribers. I get alerts that I've got new subscribers to the channel. I thank you. Uh, welcome to the channel, and I hope I can come up with some some cool videos that you'll enjoy watching. And uh, I want to thank Wes. I never got around to uh, to making a proper video um, thanking him for the VCLT six months ago, but that'll be one of the first videos I make talking about that. And uh, yeah, just uh, happy to be back. Um, yeah, uh, so uh, I'll shut up here, and uh, I'll see you next time with some video with some new uh, some new vinyl or CDs or things like that, uh, some music to show, which will be much more fun. All right, guys. I'll see you soon.